Dougie is a strange little kid. He's obsessed with a video game called Satan's Little Helper, in which you play as Satan's Little Helper, assisting Satan in doing all sorts of Satan-y things, like disemboweling people. Dougie's plan on Halloween is to dress up as the character from the video game, marry his own sister, and then go out and literally find Satan so that he can fulfill his duties as Satan's little helper. For real. And they say violent video games have no effect on America's youth. Satan's Little Helper is written and directed by Jeff Lieberman. Lieberman also directed one of my favorite 80s slashers, Just Before Dawn, as well as the movies Squirm, Blue Sunshine, and Remote Control. And as if you couldn't tell from the plot synopsis, Satan's Little Helper is a horror movie with a dark sense of humor. You see, Dougie eventually stumbles across a real devil, a serial killer who's plying his trade in Dougie's neighborhood. And the serial killer just happens to be wearing a Satan mask. It's love at first sight. Believing he's in the presence of his master, Dougie joins forces with the killer in order to be his lookout. Who's he looking out for? Well, God, of course, Satan's arch nemesis. Dougie even solicits his master to go and kill his sister Jenna's new boyfriend so that Dougie can have her all to himself. It's fun for the whole family. Actually, it's just a fun movie, period. A little boy in a devil costume teaming up with a serial killer in a Satan mask on Halloween night, out doing all sorts of hood rat stuff. It just works, in a twisted sort of way. Look no further than when Satan is pushing Dougie around a parking lot in a shopping cart, slamming said cart into random people, much to Dougie's elation. Their targets include a woman pushing a baby carriage, a pregnant woman, and a blind guy. Each target carries a different points value, and Dougie and Satan are racking up a respectable score. Later, Dougie hands out candy to trick-or-treaters. Candy that's mixed with prescription medication that Satan stole from an old woman after murdering her, while Dougie kept watch on the outside. And I bet you thought you were hardcore for throwing a couple of eggs or TPing your neighbor's tree on Halloween night. Satan's Little Helper stars Catherine Winnick as Jenna. She makes a likable enough final girl and is quite pleasing to the eye in her winch costume. I know Winnick has gone on to have a pretty solid career since playing Jenna and is far better known for far higher profile film and television work. I've not seen any of it though. Amanda Plummer plays Dougie's sweet but nutty mother and Alexander Brickle plays Dougie. Dougie's relationship with Satan is actually kind of endearing in a really demented kind of way. That is until Satan disembowels Dougie's dad right in front of him. It was at this point that Dougie realized he had f***ed up. The movie loses steam from here on, unfortunately, and the third act is kind of a slog. The focus shifts from Dougie and Satan raising hell to Winnick and Plummer being stalked by Satan. It gets a bit tedious and feels like Lieberman was just trying to pad out the runtime. Lieberman clearly had a low budget to work with here, but it really only shows when it comes to the clunky score. And the footage from the Satan's Little Helper game is crude, to say the least. All the performances here are good, and you get the sense that everyone involved in Satan's Little Helper knew exactly what kind of movie they were making, and were having a blast while doing it. Satan's Little Helper is an oddball horror comedy that's completely ridiculous and utterly entertaining. At least for the first two-thirds of the film. Satan's Little Helper would be an excellent addition to anyone's Halloween night or Halloween season movie marathons. I say check it out. And you can call me Satan's Little Helper's Helper, because I happen to have an extra Blu-ray to give away. All you gotta do to enter is post a comment down in the comment section below, letting me know what your favorite costume was from a Halloween past. As for this new Blu-ray release from Synapse Films, Satan's Little Helper looks better than it's ever looked before. The film was shot digitally, so there are some issues with blurring here and there, but overall the colors look good and the detail is solid. This release sports a DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 track, which sounds crisp and clear as a bell. Overall, I'd give both the picture quality and the sound quality on this release a solid 4 out of 5.
As far as extras are concerned, first up we have The Devil and the Details, The Making of Satan's Little Helper. It's 32 minutes and 38 seconds in length. It includes interviews with writer-director Jeff Lieberman, mask creator Jonathan Fuller, makeup effects creator Anthony Pepe, star Alexander Brickle, cinematographer Dehan Georgevich, and more. They discuss the genesis of Satan's Little Helper, finding the right mask, for Satan, casting, working with Amanda Plummer and Catherine Winnick. They discuss the blood and gore, shooting the shopping cart scene, uh, shooting the film digitally, the film's cult status, and more. Next, we have Mr. Satan's Neighborhood, a tour of the filming locations with Jeff Lieberman and the Satan Mask. It's 22 minutes and 37 seconds in length. And Mr. Lieberman espouses some indie filmmaking tips along the way. We get a vintage behind-the-scenes featurette, which is 4 minutes and 58 seconds in length. We get a promotional trailer, and we get an audio commentary with Jeff Lieberman. This is a very nice Blu-ray release for Satan's Little Helper from Synapse Films. We get solid picture quality and audio quality, and some nice extras. If you're a fan of Satan's Little Helper, then this release should be in your collection. Let me know your thoughts on Satan's Little Helper down in the comments section below. Also, let me know what your favorite Jeff Lieberman film is while you're down there. And again, if you'd like to win your very own copy of Satan's Little Helper on Blu-ray from Synapse Films, let me know what your favorite costume was from a past Halloween. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.